Welcome back. In this video, I'll be talking about the carbon dioxide transportation. So 5% of the carbon dioxide is simply dissolved in blood, and 5% is bound to hemoglobin, and 90% is transported as bicarbonate, and this is what we will talk about. So in tissues, we'll expel carbon dioxide into the blood, and carbon dioxide will go inside the RBCs, where it will bind with water using the enzyme carbonic anhydrase to create bicarbonate and hydrogen. Bicarbonate will be exchanged with chloride from the blood, and hydrogen will bind to hemoglobin, and the binding of hydrogen to hemoglobin is called Bohr effect. So now we ended up with chloride and hydrogenated hemoglobin. The RBC will go into the lungs, and we will reverse the process. Hydrogen will be released from hemoglobin, and we call the release of hydrogen from hemoglobin Haldane effect. Chloride will be again exchanged with bicarbonate from the blood. Using the same enzyme carbonic anhydrase will recreate carbon dioxide and water. And carbon dioxide will leave the RBCs into the blood where it's going to be exhaled. Alright guys, that's everything I've got. Hopefully I made this easier for you and see you guys later.